Look at that skyline. This sets the mood for a futuristic world that Jade Order takes place in perfectly. The whole game is drenched in retro way from the color choices to the weapons to the aliens you battle. Aesthetically, this game is 100% down my alley. The lore behind the world is that the goddess of life needs your help to fight off the god of death from taking over the world that she blesses. You're basically a hired mercenary to take out his alien hordes. The game itself is a basic little puzzle strategy game. You're on a board, you can move one space at a time, and you have to attack enemies from either the side or from behind to actually kill them. The enemies will move around the board every time you move, so you have to choose your moves wisely to sneak in your attacks. As you progress through the game, you continue to unlock new blessings or powers to help you kill the monsters, and as the levels progress, they continue to throw out new concepts for the monsters that fit the tone very well. Between the addition of the new monsters and new powers or blessings as you progress, it keeps the game feeling fresh as you continue along. While the core game itself is fairly fun, if they didn't mix it up like this over the course of the 50 levels, it would get a little bit monotonous before the game was over. The soundtrack as you work through the game, it could use a little bit of work as well. The same song, which is a good song, but it plays throughout the entire game. There are five different worlds, and it would have been cool if they could have simply done a different song for each one of the worlds to match that tone. But at least the song that we got is a good song. While the game itself can be completed in a few hours, there are options to go back and meet the challenges on each level, like completing a certain number of turns or collecting very specific jewels throughout the map. This adds some replayability for the game, but once everything is collected, there's little to draw you back into the game. So it's probably a four to five hour game max and not going to come back to it. Overall, I really love the tone and the artistic direction of this game. The gameplay itself is unique and fairly fun overall. However, there isn't much to pull you back into it once you finish the entire thing. While personally I do enjoy puzzle games like this, the aesthetics that they've selected and the monsters they have, it kept me wishing it was more of an action game, more like a Mega Man game or something like that. Not a criticism of the game that they created, but just a wish for future projects in this universe if the developers happen to watch this video. This game goes for $6.99 on the eShop, and if puzzle games are down your alley, I say it's worth that cost. And also, I say if you enjoy action packed games, I think you'll still like this game because of the aesthetics, but I'd probably recommend waiting for it to go on sale. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, go out there, find a great game to play, and just simply have a great rest of the day.